Hi there. Today I'm back again this time to talk about a movie that I watched. It's called Pony and Silver. Okay. Of course, uh, if you remember last time I showed you all, I am reading the books. Okay. Part 1 and 2 I've completed. I'm reading part 3 part of it. But the whole Pony and Silver part 1 for the movie is all contained in the first two books. Most of it is there. So, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the movie. It was very nice. The actors were great. Okay, they put in a lot of big, big actress and actors in the movie. Okay, uh, the scenes were good. Um, they were quite convincing, you know, the characters who acted as Raja Raja Shola and Vandiya Deva, Nandini, Kundave, whatever, uh, Aditya Karigalan, everybody. They were quite convincing. It was quite interesting. Okay, these are the main characters. Of course, there are all, all other characters also. Don't just think these are the only characters. Okay, and then um, what shall I say? Very beautiful, very scenic, scenic. But only thing I missed is two of the songs that they had. I do not know why they cut out the songs. One was uh, played partially for a few minutes. It's a five-minute song. I think they were played about one minute, like that. One minute, one to two minutes only. Another one was totally missing. Okay, so I do not know why they did that. Maybe it's time constraining as it was 2 hours 47 minutes. They couldn't put everything inside. You see, this story is about a journey of, I've told you before, one day the Devan, where until he goes and reach Arun Moli Varma and takes him back to India. This is the story in that, the beginning part. Okay, so there's a lot of characters here where he will meet so many people, different, different people. And all these characters are very important. So, unfortunately, um, it is not easy to put all these characters into two and a half, two hours forty minutes and bring in the storyline. So, it's very difficult. So, some of it was like they did it fast, quick. The scenery is so beautiful. So, I said the scenery is so beautiful. They did very very fast. Uh, they just like uh, pass by the characters. So by watching the movie, the truth is, uh, it's an entertainment. Yes, you won't know the true story. It's a good entertainment. You will not know the true story unless you read the books. Okay, it's a five-part book. Unless you read the books, you will know. And each and every character is very important. And the story, unfortunately, I did not. I saw an IMAX. It was beautiful, as I said. Unfortunately, many characters were not highlighted properly. Okay, many important characters, even though they are not the king or the queen, I think they needed to be highlighted properly. Lah. As my son said, you can't put the whole five books into this, what, two, five hour movie or whatever it is, five hour plus movie, six hours movie or so. Because it's part one and part two. Pony and Sylvan comes in two parts. So, part one they have put out, we have watched, part two will be another one. And also, there is a lot of things like, uh, it's an adaptation. It's not a, um, fully the story. It's an adaptation. The movie creators have um, changed a lot of things down there. Most of the characters, they just deleted it out. And then some of the characters, they change. Just the storyline is slightly changed. So, at the end, how they ended for part one has been slightly changed actually. It's not like that in the books. So, if you want to watch the movie without reading the book, you will enjoy it fully with no criticism, nothing. You will just enjoy it, it would be lovely. But if you think you need to um, know the complete story, complete character of everyone, you want to experience the books, there's not many people who like to read, so at least they can watch that. But they won't know the true full story of Kalgi, lah, what Kalgi wrote. It's a fictional history, of course. So many characters in the book itself are fictional. Okay, The main characters are all fictional, some of them. Okay, not all the main characters, some of them. Okay, so if you think you think you want to experience it better, okay, um, through books, through reading, if you love to read, you should get the five-part book. Okay, the set of five books. Okay, I don't know whether they have a different version or what. Doesn't matter. You should get the books and you should um, read it. Okay, it will be more interesting because I I found that. I understood the characters better. Okay, many times down there when people watched it, I think people who have not read it, like my kids have not read the book yet. My daughter is currently reading. 
uh, there was a lot of parts that's missing and then they do not understand the characters. Suddenly it's like from here to there. The characters were not fully, um, what can I say? They did not fully explain about the characters. Where they did, whereas in the book you will see every character is given so much of importance. This book was written around the 1950s, okay, 1951 to 1954, okay. So, this was a very, 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 very long time ago it was written. Of course, the story of Raja Raja Sholan, Raja Raja Sholan exists in the 10th or 11th century around that. So, if you like historical stories, you will enjoy it. Generally, those who do not read also will enjoy the movie as the movie is uh, quite interesting with a lot of good actors and actresses. Okay, they are trying to bring history in this era so that people in this era will enjoy it. Okay, so they did needed to do some changes in there. Okay, so they, they did do some changes. Mm, some characters were changed. Even the finishing of the storyline was changed a bit. Okay, because um, I'm not I'm not going to do a spoiler for y'all. Let y'all watch it. Some of y'all would have watched it many times. Some of y'all would like to watch. But if you really want to know the true story, I mean true story, not real, is still a fiction by Kalgi in that era. And you want to know, understand the characters a bit better. You should read the books. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>